what's up guys welcome back with another rom review finally we have a custom rom which is named banana drive which is a bit different from other custom rom but usually user interface and other things are same as it is based on android 13 so it will be uh, like android 13 as usual but we have a bit different customization i will talk about every single details in this video so without escaping the video watch till the end first of all let me show you from the settings and the ui about section is a bit different not like other custom rom it's a bit different where we will get the logo of banana droid this is called banana droid and i'm using here the vanilla build of course you guys will get the gfs build as well so and this is the notification system it will come like this and here is the android version 13 of course and this is the android version ui and we have the lineage os kernel which is really very stable always like as before and we have cd next status which is enforcing okay let's get back and then we have system as i'm using here the vanilla build so we have here the usb configuration which is a new android 13 system uh, by default you guys can set this and we have here the gesture and customization of course we can customize from settings we can change the pill length pill radius and ime space that means keyboard space um, from the top uh, sorry from the bottom you guys can change it and if you don't need that ime space you guys can default narrow and hidden this is new feature then we have here the back gesture height and left edge right edge everything now let me show you one handed mode is perfectly working swipe to screenshot is working double tap to uh, wake i checked everything fine and we have here the specific device settings which is called my sound enhancer ambient display fps overlay clear speaker and thermal profiles everything is fine here and let me show you the developer option and average memory use here the ram which is 1.8 gb from 2.9 gb okay then we have password and account safety and emergency then privacy location security okay let's talk about that we heard we have here app lock perfectly we have all three things like face unlock fingerprint and app lock everything is fine then accessibility as usual the regular customization like as other android 13 and wallpaper and style which is just like android 13 and change wallpaper we have by default some wallpapers from banana droid some really cool wallpapers are here which is called unplash and we have banner dried wallpapers by default so i'm using right now this one by default we have some other wallpapers here and then at the bottom we have wallpaper colors by default i'm using right now this one and dark theme themed icons upgrade everything is fine here basic colors okay sorry then we have display settings as usual like other custom room we have every single customization here sound and vibration as usual the new user interface from android 13 then we have the battery section like as other custom room then we have the banana gear that means the customization hub here we have some different customization i'm using here the background chip from uh, date and time you guys can change it which is uh, which i'm getting from this custom room actually I'm, i didn't get other custom rooms so here is the status bar status bar icon can be changed and it's, uh, you guys can change the logos we have huge collection here xbox asus rog spider superman the flash ubuntu windows everything is there and you guys can change the position of course then you have mic and camera privacy indicator and other things here network traffic monitor perfectly working no issues with that i already checked and then we have the notification count clock style and clock date customization battery percentage everything is there left padding right padding top padding you guys can change it then we have the quick settings as usual height qs in secure lock skin this is really good feature brightness slider show always okay and position can be changed top to bottom and bottom to top whatever you want and qs panel styles qs panel styles can be changed just let me show you here android 11 can be changed and quick settings styles is here 
Okay, let me show you this one. This is the Android 11 UI, and but not just look like Android 11, but not Android 11. And of course, we can change it outline, two tone accent, color pop, shade it, cyberpunk, everything is fine. Okay, let me show you that one. Let it be changed. Okay, now it's changed, but it will not work in that one. Okay, let me go on default one, then it will work perfectly in cyberpunk. And height levels can be changed, vertical layout can be changed. Everything is just awesome here. So here I'm using this one, and that can be changed. Like I'm using here cyberpunk and reflected surround, thin line, two tone, transparent, whatever you need, you guys can use. Okay, shaded. Let me show you. So this type of uh, changes can be done. At the bottom, rows, portrait, columns whatever you guys can do customization and data users then we have buttons and navigation as usual the regular customization I don't want to waste time here notifications lock screen ambient display themes of course you guys can change it and uh, settings dashboard style and uh, enable card style dashboard of course it will do system restart okay so let me get back and this is the UI now setting UI can be changed these are really awesome. Here is the theme and UI style set custom style for your interface. You guys can do that thing. Clear theme, exp uh, espresso, whatever, vivid theme, and paint to snow. UI style can be changed. So this is really cool and font style icon signal. Everything just like other custom rooms, you guys will get it. Okay, now let's talk about miscellaneous. What would you have? Here we have the smart pixel, which is cool if you need that. I like it and of course we have by default FPS high FPS in game you guys can unlock it and unlimited Google photo the storage Netflix is spoofing and it's spoof all kind of applications actually which is supported on pixel Excel for misc benefits you guys will get that okay or down here let's get back and now let's talk about the dialer this is really cool dialer and you guys can uh, call record by default it's working fine I already checked and go to sound and vibration and just enable auto call recording and it will record your voice no issues with that and smoothness is just mind blowing we have by default motor doll body support and here is the settings and smoothness is just mind blowing and here is the call recording screenshot i already taken it's perfectly working no issues and gcam is working here So here you guys can see it, uh, it. It is just loading time. It can it will load for the first time. It can freeze, but after that it will be fixed automatically and it will work fine. By default, you guys will get that camera and Google camera go as usual, and these are fine working, no issues. And I'm using here the Nick Gaps Core. Now let's talk about the safety net, which is not passed by default. Let me show you. And I already rooted my device and checked uh, safety net CTS profile is failed. So you need to do it manually. I already did what we always do. Here is the universal safety net fix. I already tried, but it will uh, not. Uh, it, it won't work because uh, you have to fix it manually. You have to change the fingerprint, then it will work. And I already uploaded so many videos on it. You guys can change the fingerprint and pass safety net. By default, we have that. Uh, Android 13 calculator calendar everything is fine okay let's talk about the launcher home settings which is uh, here you can see based on ASP launcher 3 and which is banana home launcher team lineage OS and uh, these are the things actually they actually used icon pack default by default you guys will get that icon pack and here you guys can see the plus icon just click on it and go to play store and download any icon pack and easily you guys can use this and icon size font size these are good things you guys can change and we have the home screen here as usual you guys also can do that things at a glance and center style switch to center position and extended at a glance all features really really cool things are added in that launcher and then we have the app drawer of course app search bar can be customized background opacity and rows height everything 
Okay, let's talk about the recent and memory info is included here. Okay, let me show you that. And here is the memory info. It's perfectly working. And room is just awesome and by uh, buttery smooth experience you guys will get and use taskbar. And in Android 13 it's uh, now rare uh, taskbar but it's available in that custom room. Okay, all are done and restarting the launcher because I did changes. And here's the smoothness. And I already showed you the uh, control center and it's fine. You guys can change the user interface of boring Android interface of Android 13. These are the things and the most important things which is a deal breaker which is YouTube. You guys can play YouTube and after playing for some time and after watching content for some time you guys will get black screen and it will lose the connection. That issue is now very very important to solve because nowadays it's really a great headache. It's doing great problem. Other than everything is fine in that room. If you want to try it, then you can go with it. Uh, next update it will be fixed and I talked about it. So this is really cool and battery backup no issues perfectly working battery is good. So hope you guys understand the video if you like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon. So thank you for watching.